Hey guys, it's Roscoe and on Space Coach today I'm going to talk about spaceship names. What should we call them? Now that Boeing's renamed the CST-100 as the Starliner, what else could be renamed? Now, SpaceX, as you know, have the Falcon rocket named after the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars and the Dragon 1 and 2 capsule that's named after Puff the Magic Dragon. Uh, the drone ships also have science fiction names, Just Read the Instructions and Of Course I Still Love You from Ian Banks' Culture series, which is very good, the books I've read of that. But what about the MCT, the Mars Colonial Transport? Now, while that would suffice as the class of spaceship MCT, what about names for the various fleet members? After all, there's going to be a fleet of them one day. Now, airlines, for instance, often call their planes after cities, people, rivers, castles, all that sort of thing. And, of course, Pan Am had its uh, very successful Clipper series of names, like Clipper Blue Jacket, Yankee Clipper, Liberty Bell, Constitution, all patriotic names. For spaceships, it should be sci-fi names, I think. Now, given that it is the Mars colonial transport. I expect it'll be a name associated with, say, Martian mythology and science fiction, so it could be like, say, the Edgar Rice Burroughs or the Kim Stanley Robinson. The John Carter? <laughs> what about the Barsoom Express? I quite like that one, you know. It could even be called Mars One, <laughs> but only, you know, that would be like calling it the Icarus, not a good idea, you know. Don't tempt fate with the name, Fisker Karma comes to mind. Now, science fiction names have been used in the past for spacecraft. Um, the very first space shuttle um, was called the Enterprise after a letter writing campaign back in the 1970s led by Star Trek fans. It was due to be called the Constitution. Um, again, a patriotic type of name. And also, Virgin Galactic called their um, the dropship, the suborbital craft, the VSS Enterprise. I don't know if the replacement would be called the Enterprise 2. But we are likely to see another Enterprise in due course of one kind or another. Or the Galileo, after the Enterprise's shuttle from that, was it Galileo 7 episode? <laughs> Now, of course, it's not just ships that are going to need renaming, but stations, bases, and eventually colonies and cities too. Now, once those big low habitats are proven, and there's a bunch of them up there, it's going to be corporations, governments, educational institutes, perhaps in some even um, high net worth private individuals uh, will own or lease those stations. What are they going to be called? I've spoken in the past, um, Bigelow's two uh, habitat station, the Alpha station, also known as the Skywalker station. Um, will there be a Googleplex? You know, that would have to be a big one. I would, can imagine that as a bunch of Olympus habitats rather than a couple of BA-330s. What about a Zuckerberg Institute, perhaps, you know? Or even, my personal favourite, a Babylon station. So long as you make five of them, I suppose. <laughs> the possibilities are, in fact, endless. I mean, there's such a rich culture of science fiction names to use for any of the uh, spaceships or even features on planets. The uh, naming um, of the features on Pluto are obviously using science fiction type of names versus the names they're using for Ceres, which are all based on um, like gods of the harvest, that sort of thing. So I, I only know the name of Okata Crater on Ceres, you know. I don't know what any of the others are called. They're just a bit too obscure for most people. Don't even know what the mountain's called. They should just call it Mount Ceres and have done with it. That's why I think sci-fi names, they relate more to people's lives as they are now. So like Tomba, Reggio, you got, was it the areas named after Darth Vader and various things from H.P. Lovecraft, Doctor Who, it's fantastic. We should have more of that. And I suspect as people actually go out to these worlds in the decades and centuries ahead, those names will probably change, let's say the um, Okata type names, to more practical ones. The possibilities are indeed endless, but the capital of Mars will be called Elon's Landing. 
Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see uh, discussed. Why don't you let me know some um, names for spaceships that you're quite partial to? I'll like the video.